Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm done working out. I think I'm done with this video. Really, it's just a practice of me continuing to make a video every day, no matter how, well, not every day, but consistently. No matter whether I'm like, oh, it's the best video I ever made, or if it's like, you know what? I hope that even if it's not, I don't feel like it's the best video I ever made, but there's one person that is watching it that is literally like, God, he's right. I can build a life of purpose. My life is my purpose. What can I do with it? I'm sitting here, my dog is laying here in my living room, and I wanna to talk to you about purpose because uh, I think a lot of people wrestle with, you know, what is my purpose? How do I find my purpose? And the bottom line of this little video that I wanna to make today is that your life is your purpose. That's it, it's that simple. It doesn't have to be any more complicated than that, right? So what are you gonna do with it? With that information, how are you gonna live your life in a way that feels purposeful? Let's talk about it. <clears throat> in a day and age where I think it feels really easy to feel like you're behind, uh, that you're playing catch up, that everyone else is crushing it, and everyone else is a winner and you're a huge loser, um, I, I feel like it's, it's my purpose to help inspire people, to realize that, hey, life happens in the meantime. That's the whole point of my tagline, right? And it's just the idea of every day you get to build and design and be the type of person that you want to be. And, and we don't have to look that far. All the people we look up to and get inspired by and all that, like, they're telling us that, right? And so we just have to remember, like, yeah, that is true. I can become who I feel like I'm supposed to become, I just have to do it one day at a time. So let's talk about purpose and the idea that purpose isn't something that just shows up one day or that you just kind of like accidentally stumble into, but rather it literally is something you create. This is my warm up. Just do like five or six of these. A little shoulder press action here. Ugh. I'm gonna do some bench, but Anyway, just kind of trying to walk you through the idea of you can make life exactly what you want it, give or take, right? Like we can't have everything that we want, but we can have the things that are important and that bring fulfillment, that make us happy, that bring joy. And a lot of it's gonna come down to how we treat people and how hard we're going after the things we want in life. And uh, that's kind of the bottom line, but like, throughout this entire video, like I said up front, like your life is your purpose. And I was like, what's my purpose in life? It's your life. What else are you gonna do? So, yeah, I think, I think ultimately it's about perspective shift. It's about, you know, changing your attitude, recognizing like, okay, this is, this is who I'm gonna be, okay, the rest of my life. And I can tweak it and I can either stay on the path that maybe I don't feel like I'm living out a, a really fulfilling life, a purposeful life, or, or I can change some things that allow me to feel that way, you know? And uh, I think number one, it's our attitude. And number two, it's our, our discipline. And um, I just don't think people, when I talk to my friends or anyone that's like, man, I'm, I'm trying to become this type of person, that kind of person didn't just wake up that way. It's they did the small disciplines, the small habits that led them in there, right? And even for me, I'm like, why am I filming while I'm working out? Like, part of it is like, this is kind of just an interesting thing that I can do while I'm talking to you guys. Um, but, uh, T, let me bust out to 10 to 12 of these real quick. Um, 12. I think when you can wake up every day and say like, hey, I, I get to write the story. I get to build the set. I get to decide what type of passion I live with when I'm meeting people, when I'm interacting with people, when I'm at work, right? Like I can aim for excellence. Like that is how you create purpose. It's not just gonna show up at your door like an Amazon package. It's literally something you have to build. 
Oh, okay, threw some more weight on there. That is also why I have felt passionate about kind of documenting my journey a little bit, kind of being a guinea pig for all of us, just kind of realizing like, I do, I live a pretty purposeful life and pretty fulfilling life, and but there's still things, still goals, still dreams that I'm going after, and all those things are uphill, and it's gonna take some pain, some some new habits, new skills, new strength to get there, right? And that's what I love about working out. That's why in the meantime, my meantime company is focused around the growth and health in our mind, money, and movement. Um, fitness is one of those things that like you can't deny it's hard. It's not a whole lot of fun, but you can have a good reward if you just don't give up. So let me bust out. This is a little bit heavier here. I don't know. Six to eight maybe if I'm lucky. Let's see. We're gonna have to work these two. Hard part is, if I need a spot, you can't just like jump through the camera, right? Uh, that felt a little heavy. I could feel it in my chest. You, you aren't a loser. You can live a life of purpose. And that's, that's it, that's what this video is, man. I can ramble forever, but uh, don't get busy and sidetracked with how everyone else is living their life and it seems to be awesome mountaintop experiences. I will say it over and over and over in all my videos I ever make, and most of that isn't real. We all live behind the scenes in our own life, and so do they. The things you see on social media, like it's just not the whole picture. And so keep that in mind, right? Keep moving forward. And that's why like, I've been excited about how many people are interested in all my window cleaning videos. Cause I'm like, that is, that's a thing. That's a thing to get me to the thing. Like I don't wanna be out here and become the window cleaning guy. But I'm seeing that it's actually helping people. It's something people are interested about. So I'm like, well, let me make more videos about it. it helps my channel grow. So obviously if you're watching this and you're like, this isn't about window cleaning. Yeah, a lot of my videos eventually won't be. But uh, I just wanted to talk to you anyway. And I love the comments where people are like, dude, love that you just turn it on and, and you're telling us how you're feeling. And I'm just saying, I see a consistent pattern, specifically with men, but probably women too, you get in your 20s, 30s, and you're just like, wow, I've missed it. It's like, no, no, we freaking haven't, right? Like, we've got the rest of our lives to do amazing, great things. All right. Just did three reps of 185. Um, that's pretty good for me. feel good about that. If I had a spotter here, I think I could have got four or five, but uh, don't want to, you know, drop it on my throat. So there's that. And then also, you know, because I'm talking to you guys, I don't have my music hooked up. So I'm, I'm working out in complete silence, like an absolute psycho. Um, but let me get into an attitude that I think is really important to have every day when you're saying, yeah, I choose to be the type of person that builds a life of purpose. My life is my purpose. Let's talk about the attitude. 50s are the heaviest weight that I have. Uh, I need more, but this is what I'm gonna do my incline dumbbell presses with. And here's the attitude that literally allows you to live a life of purpose. And it's gonna sound really, really basic, but it is the attitude of belief. Having the belief that what you do matters. That every interaction, every word, every action, every moment of your life, it matters. You have to believe that it does. And once you do, when you step into that, then you're gonna be able to build a life of purpose. But if you don't, literally, if you're just like, it doesn't matter, it's pointless, whatever, then yeah, just keep vegging out on video games and Netflixing and all that kind of stuff. But like, that's what's gonna leave you feeling unfulfilled because you don't have a belief that it matters. You have to have belief as a strong attitude because that's the only thing that's gonna drive you uh, to actually live out the disciplines that you know it takes to become the person you want. Like, I believe that working out, I see the result, uh, is making me healthier, building muscle, and overall I feel better. Like, I just believe that that happens when I work out. And so therefore, I go and work out more and I stick to the disciplines and habits of it. If I didn't have that belief, I wouldn't do it. And I know if you haven't been doing it, it's hard to start because maybe the belief's not there. The hard part is you gotta do the work before you know it's gonna work. 
And that is literally everything in life. Do the work before you know it'll work. All right, I haven't videoed my whole workout, but I've got this dip bar. I really wanna start doing more and more dips because I saw this guy on social media who's just raves about them. So that's what I'm gonna do to wrap it up. And then uh, I'll talk to you for a few more minutes. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm done working out. I think I'm done with this video. Really, it's just a practice of me continuing to make a video every day, no matter how, well, not every day, but consistently. No matter whether I'm like, oh, it's the best video I ever made, or if it's like, you know what? I hope that even if it's not, I don't feel like it's the best video I ever made. But there's one person that is watching it that is literally like, God, he's right. I can build a life of purpose. My life is my purpose. What can I do with it? In five years, in three years, in six months, like there's a lot you could change pretty fast actually. And the number one thing that I believe is important is to change your attitude. Have a deep sense of belief that what you're doing is gonna work and that it matters. It might not work the way that you expect or hope for it to, but it's gonna work in some type of way, right? Like I just saw a video of a guy the other day that was like the, the journey and the destination, like that is what makes up the fulfilling parts of our life. Like it is the chase, it is the, the effort, and it's not even those things in and of themselves, but it's who you become along that journey. So that's it. The belief that what you're gonna do matters. And number two, leaning into the disciplines that matter. We know what the disciplines are. I mean, you can just Google top disciplines that make my life better, and you can find them. But with all that said, yeah, I am still working on my window cleaning course. <laughs> Sorry if you were looking for some window cleaning content. But uh, nonetheless, there's a lot of different ways that I would love to connect with you and, and serve you and uh, help you live a life of purpose. You can check that stuff out in the description. Um, but until then, hey, in the meantime, enjoy the here while you're getting there. <laughs>